All right, so now we're back in the installer, or well, we are in the installer, and uh, I speak English, so I'm gonna go ahead and use English for the main language. Now, uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be setting up a dual boot, and this is on my brother's computer. So it's gonna have Windows 7 as well as um, Mac or Snow Leopard. So uh, this is where it is. Um, you're gonna figure out which hard drive your main hard drive is. So like right here, I'm using a 320 gigabyte hard drive, SATA um, by Seagate. And um, if you just want Mac, you can go ahead and hit one partition. But since we want Mac and Windows, I'm gonna make it two partitions. And I'll make the Mac partition a little bit smaller than the Windows partition. Yeah, that should be good. So we'll name that Mac and then extended journaled and then this can be whoa that was weird um this can be windows and we'll make that fat because that's compatible um then you go down to options make sure it's on GUID. hit ok hit apply it's going to delete everything that's on that partition it's going to unmount the disk and then it's going to partition it just like it would um, a regular hard drive. Alright, it's done partitioning. So we can go ahead and close Disk Utility and hit Continue. And then go ahead and read through this. And um, pick Mac. Now we're going to customize it because there are certain things that we don't need. Um, let's see, we want all the available printers, we don't need additional fonts, we don't need language translations, and then just leave X11, and then you can pick Rosetta or QuickTime if you need them. Hit OK, and hit install. Now, one thing I did realize with this install, um, is, um, it's kind of boring, but you have to sit through this installation, keep on moving the mouse, or it will kernel panic. Um, or if you don't know what Coronal Panic is, it's like the blue screen of death uh, equivalent of a PC. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while I shake this mouse for looks like 29 minutes. Um, so uh, I'll talk to you guys after it's done. Alright, so it completed installing and um, it'll count down unless you just hit start. I'll go ahead and restart and with your USB drive or USB installer still in the USB port just go ahead and restart your computer and um, when this computer restarts you'll see um, well it just passed it but um, I pretty much downloaded this custom BIOS thing so that I don't have to have a DST.AML file and it's pretty cool actually so um, we're gonna go ahead and boot up Mac because that's the partition we installed to. Now this will take a little bit of time, but um, we'll pretty much just install the bootloader to this Mac partition, then copy all the files like we saw before. And um, if you're running the custom BIOS, you don't need to copy the uh, DST or DSDT.AML file because um, the BIOS already has it. So. Um, what we'll need to do is get EFI strings for the video card and EFI strings pretty much just um, uh, like pretty much just specify which device oh here we go here we're at the welcome screen and we'll just wait for this to go by and I'll show you how to enter in the um, uh, EFI strings for 9500 GT And sound does work. Everything works that's on the motherboard. So we'll go ahead and hit continue. Then continue. And then we don't want to transfer anything. Um, you can continue with that. And then. Can you continue? Yeah. Alright, so you can put in your name. 
All right, and then put in your account name. Let's put in. Oh, hit that thing again. Um, hit continue. I won't have a password. Continue again. It'll create a, an account. Then it's connecting. Uh, it, it's pretty much just connecting to Apple servers right now. Um, but yeah, sound works right out of the box. You just have to change one little setting. And then um, internet or ethernet. And then don't need mobile me. Uh, select your time zone. Continue and hit go. Now it should bring us to our desktop or our home screen. And then we don't want to use that because that's our Windows installed. Can close that. Then just verify our keyboard. And then there we go. So now we're back at our Windows or at our um, Mac desktop. And I'll set everything up for um, for our EFI strings. Alright, so now we have the SL pack again. So we're going to go ahead and open up that. And real quick, I'll show you how to get sound working. So you just go to System Preferences, then head over to Sound, go to Output, click Internal Speakers. Now you see that we have sound. So we can go ahead and close that, and then we're done with the sound. Um, Alright, so. What we're wa what we're gonna do is reinstall PC EFI, but this time to the hard drive that's in the actual computer. So hit continue, install, hit OK. Now it's just gonna install to that, and we'll get the little confirmation message that it's done. And now open up the extra, and if you have custom BIOS, you don't need that DS dt.aml file so we can open up a new finder window let's open up uh, the system so system or no extra and then we're gonna copy bonjour and all these things so extensions everything but um DSDT, so we can pretty much just highlight everything, copy it in, hit OK, there it is, we'll put themes in there too, um, alright, so clean that up, um, we don't need DSDT, go ahead and delete that, And now what we can do is we can open up um, the com.apple.boot.list. So I'll go ahead and pause it real quick. Alright, so we opened up the com.apple.boot.list in um, just the regular text edit application. And there's the big string thing with all these hexadecimal numbers. Um, that's where we're going to be editing. So we're going to open up. OS x86 tools. I'll provide a link on my website and in the description. Uh, go to add EFI strings. Go up to the top where it says GFX streams, strings or graphic strings, and so and uh, click your card. So we have the GeForce 9500. it 